You're listening to the Impact Implosion on the Angry Marks Podcast Network. February 27, 2015, and it's another episode of the Impact Implosion. As always, I am Seth Draken, and with me, as always, is Mike Poland. Good late evening, everybody. And in this glass of water I am holding is more over than Roman Reigns. <laughs> may, may I just add, and hopefully that glass of water has fewer chemicals <laughs> than Mr. Roman Reigns. Yes. Hey, a glass of milk is more over than Roman Reigns, if you saw the latest Mark remark. We want to get into the impact, or do you have any news? Um, no, we don't have any news. I didn't see any. Nope, no news. Impact. No, no news. Impact time. Let's get this over with. <laughs> yep. Let's see, we start off the show with Kurt Angle, and Josh and Taz look like they are in a goddamn podcast booth. They're hanging out with Stone Cold on podcast one. <laughs> So, Kurt is calling out Franklin. Franklin Delano Lashley. Yep. And people forget that Kurt, apparently, even Taz had to call him out that, uh, Kurt, you kind of lost. Why are you calling out the champ? Because the champ didn't help him against the VDC last week. I know. Wah, 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 wah. And Kurt Turtle was like, dude, it was your fight. <laughs> Turtle man. Like, it's your fight. Don't expect me to help you. And Kurt's like, I'm not going to help you then. So there. <sighs> I'm ten years old. Yeah. So there. I'm not going to help you out. So here <sighs> comes the BDC, and the crowd still thinks Samoa Joe sold out. Once again, to what? He turned heel. And he sold out. That's wrestling fan logic. Yeah. Except that it makes no sense because selling out means you went for a higher price and really what's MVP paying? Everybody's got a price. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. And Joe is allowed to do most of the talking and calls the crowd Manchunian scum. 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 And scum. MVP says that Franklin stands alone. Cue the Godsmack song. He stands alone. Stand alone. <laughs> so here, next up, we, well, first match, we have EC3 and Tyrus versus Rockstar Spud, Mr. Andrews. I mean, Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Andrews. Not Mr. Andrews. Andrews. <laughs> I am not calling him Mandrews. I'll, I'll do it then. He's Mandrews. <laughs> so, Mr. Anderson. Andrews. Mr. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Sir, he's like, he does the whole bit Sir Anderson thing, and Rockstar Spud grabs Mike and like, and Rockstar Spud too. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, and Rockstar Spud. <laughs> Little buddy. So, Tyrus has a hat on to hide his bald head, and I was thinking this match was going to go where someone was going to remove the hat, and he was going to be all freaked out about it, but Tyrus removed the hat himself. Match. And Tyrus so, gets pinned. Yeah, by Spud. And uh but during this match we had Spud biting. And He's Spud won Spud. because yeah, Spud won, thanks to Mr. Anderson, although to be fair, Spud had the match won himself, if not for E C three interfering. So turn about a fair play, I guess. And we continue the tease of the haircutting. Yeah. The the match was okay. Problem was most of it we had Mr. Anderson and Tyrus. <laughs> the two guys you didn't want to see. Yep. Then backstage, EC3 is mad, and he is adamant that he's shaving Spud's head. That little bastard. 
Kip. So Terrence Rowe comes out. Being the knockouts champion is a dream because of all the knockouts and stuff. And calls out Awesome Kong. And gets Gail Kim. Yeah, Gail Kim's like, uh, you, don't you want sure to do you this. want this? You, you don't, don't want to do this. She's taking years Terrence, off my life, but I can't get back. Terrence, Terrence's like, look, I need to fight Kong because I'm a fighter. And Gail's like, okay. okay. I warned you. So Kong comes out. And not an official match, and Terran ends up dead. You were warned. <laughs> with the Im- yeah, he warned you. We had a locker room meeting with the beatdown crew, but the camp man tried to enter in eavesdrop, and the beatdown crew looked at him like, what the hell are you doing here? Get the hell out of here now. Yeah, private meeting. Not allowed to come out. So, Austin Aries. Austin Aries has asked his thought about tonight's main event. He says, it's been full of twists and turns lately, and I'm going to put on my work clothes because I know the perfect ending for tonight's show. Mm-hmm. And then, well, we get something on DJZ's face. Huh. Some little mask. <laughs> and he's out here because next match is Robbie E. and Angelina Love versus Brooke Tessmacher with crappy theme music and Sergeant Chris Melendez. Oh, still oh goody. <laughs> oh goody three Just, of the four people in this match are terrible and the other one is Brooke yes <laughs> and the sad thing is this match was terrible and even worse I think the announcers kind of screwed this up they were saying it's supposed to be men versus men and women versus women and Robbie E. Pin, Pin, Brooke Kessmacher mm-hmm. and even they're like uh, I don't even I don't know if that's against the rules or what well, if it's men versus men, women versus women, my guess is yes. Yeah, yeah, but that's their, that they said that. They didn't, it wasn't announced otherwise. They were yeah. saying that was it. So, maybe they screwed it up. Who knows? So, EC3 decides to come in. Broxar Spud left his door open, and EC3 enters. And he what says, a stupid surprise move. Mother- yep, surprise mother. <laughs> you left your door open. Yep. Hi, 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 Spud. You're in trouble, 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 trouble. <laughs> TC right there. And Anderson's like, after the commercial break, Anderson's like, what's your locker room? What's your locker room? And he gets there as EC3 trying to shake Spud. It so just they try to to do you. And they try to shake EC3 and then Tyrus saved them. Huh. Like then we have Gunner, Gunner trying to talk to Angle. He's like, dude, what, what's your problem with... Oh, oh wait. Yeah, yeah, that was what it was happening. Um, Gunner's talking to Angle into helping Franklin. And Angle's like, no, he didn't help no. me. Why should I help him? Just help him, you big baby. And Gunner slaps him in the face. So here comes the greatest man that ever lived, a double Austin Aries. And the funny thing about doing these live tweets with Austin Aries is every time I tweet about Austin Aries, I get some followings from people who are talking about the astrological sign Aries. Oopsie. Wrong Aries. I know. <laughs> it's funny. So, and he, the crowd goes, Aries, Aries. Like, dude, I have a first name. <laughs> Austin Aries. It's reminding me as a first name. <laughs> Yep. And he's like, thinking I'm using this tonight. So, Samoa Joe comes out. You ain't cash in nothing, goes with boy. Me. Yeah. You used to be someone I knew. Now you're just MVP's lap dog. You don't and know me. So None of these like, people know me. And you know what? I could just snap my fingers and have you jumped. But you know what? I'm going to fight you anyway. And Aries is like, bring it. And dies out at him. And a match begins. Which was probably the best match of the night. Yep. For how short it was. Aries wins with the 450 and gets laid out and they steal the case. Yep. <laughs> but, but best part, low key does the Warriors way on Ari, to Aries on the table. The table refuses to break. So Samoa Joe's like, fuck it. I'm sent on the woman. The table will break then. 
Yeah, yeah. Have this tape will try to break, try to no sell me. Look at my gut. <laughs> and the BBC also take the briefcase. So, afterwards, we have Cameraman asks Franklin about his chances tonight, and the turtle says he basically likes his chances still. Also, throughout the first half of the show, we saw uh, build-up promos for Lashley and MVP. Oh, yeah. With montages of what happened yep. previously on Impact. <laughs> In the last year. Yep. So, MVP's talking to, to EY, and he's like, you know, Franklin's the one who put you in the hospital. And he should help us out. And EY's like, yeah, I'm going to take care of Franklin. He's vindicated so, after de- putting Bobby Roode in the hospital. Yep. And Noam Dar and versus Rampage Brown. Was I about thought 10 Noam seconds. Dar might win here, but Bram comes out and ends this match by co- so he can beat everyone down. Yes. He calls out Magnus, knowing Magnus is not here. And here comes freaking Grado. Grado's terrible. I know. I'm like, okay, kill him. <laughs> Please. <laughs> kill you him. can do whatever you want to him. And he squashes Grado. And doesn't officially break his legs. So, But he, he wants Magnus to find him. And next week we get news that the Wolves are getting a tag team title shot against the Revolution. We also have a three-way match next week with Rude Aries and uh, Rude Young and Angle. Yep. And, and we also have a knockout title match. <laughs> Kong and Terrence. Between, yep. And his so main event time as MVP gets his world title shot. Not terrible, this, but not, but a big not cl- great. mess towards the end. Yeah, this match kind of what well, seems fine. BDC was doing a lot of interference. Speared by, there was a s- interesting moment where Franklin speared MVP, but the MVP's head hit the ref. Stifler. Yep. So, Eli comes out, has a chair, initially loses grip of the chair, and has to pick it back up so he can hit Lashley with it. I mean, Franklin. Franklin and Lashley with it. And here comes Drew Mack and uh, Galloway. Actually, no, here comes Bobby Roode first to make the save. Yep, and he chases away Eric the B- Young. The BDC attack the ref for some reason. This match still goes on. Gunner comes out to no say, chase it the Moa no Joe. DQ. It was no DQ. Oh, yeah. Then, no, um, Gunner comes out to chase the Moa Joe. Then MVP hits the playmaker, gets only two count. Goes for another chair. And Drew Galloway comes out, hits the Brian Knees. And here by Franklin, the chair one, two, three. Floor. Champ retains without, runner. yep, without Crybaby Kurt's help. Crybaby Kurt, eh, I'm not gonna help you, Franklin. You, you didn't help me. <laughs> so I'm not gonna help you. Eh. And, and, and Franklin's fine with it. He's like, okay. <laughs> you know, if you really want to threaten somebody that you're not gonna help them, kind of might want to do it to somebody who actually might want your help. Yes. <laughs> Franklin's like, fine. I'd rather you not come out. Thank you. And so this is a that, C minus. I get it. I give it a just a C. It was, it was not as good as last week. Yep. Plugs. So, you have anything to plug? Sell. Um, oh, I have anything to plug? Uh, tomorrow will be the induction of Batman Forever. And you'll be surprised yeah. to know. That I checked in the movie's two hours. Hmm. Yes, Batman Forever. That movie with Jim Carrey mugging for the camera is two freaking hours long. Ha ha. Well, that was fun to do. Yep. Didn't finish. I didn't use all my face palm bits <laughs> for that one. And of course, you probably will know what the next. It's March. It's a leprechaun re- no movie. St. Patty's Day. Yep. Leprechaun in space will be next. Oi, fella. Yep. <sighs> and that's it for me. Do you have anything to plug? Not this week. We will talk to you all next week. I think it's time for somebody maybe to go for a walk. Yep. My week's time for to go for a walk. Later, folks.